Let me say, uh, first of all, I've never run an independent jewelry business, so I don't claim to be an expert, okay? But from what I have seen, from what I've heard, from what I understand, um, I would say that some independents are probably in a better position to survive than others. You know, what are the criteria for the people that you think uh, will succeed? What do Jewelers have to do yeah. to ensure their independent Jewelers specifically, to ensure their success going into the future, in your view? Well, in my view, um, they need to con continue to provide their customers with what they want in a way their customers enjoy um, coming back for more uh, about. So it's about demographics, knowing who your customer is. It's about having a well-trained, well-educated, well-informed, uh, and motivated sales team. It's about being clever with your marketing dollars, however limited they may be, as a way to reach out to the customer base you need to continue to have in the future, not just the customer base that you currently have. It involves um, some flexibility in terms of product. I mean, you, for independent jewelers to compete, um, in a marketplace, and it varies, where big box stores are prevalent, they need to offer something that's different. And this begins to sound like a cliche, but I think it's true. Some of that difference is service. Some of that difference is personality and their connection with the customer, the experience the customer has when they come into the store. Um, it's about connecting with the customer rather than perhaps leaving them to the experience they might have in a big box store where the customer is basically left, in some cases, to self-select uh, the merchandise that they think they want, only maybe to find out later it wasn't what really best suited them. Some of it's about merchandising, having the right product mix, having a product mix that's sufficiently distinct in some respects from what the big box store is carrying, that you can offer the cust customer something different. Um, it's absolutely about finding ways to communicate with the customer um, online and through social media and not just rely on the fact that you've been on Main Street um, for X number of generations and years. That will get you so far for so long, but probably not enough for the future. But I think most fundamentally, um, and I think this is really hard for people, you know, it was like it, maybe, it, maybe it equates to the U.S. manufacturer finally coming to the point where he realizes he can't continue to do it from a factory based here in New York or in Providence, but he's got to find another way. And does he go this way um, and just contract to buy? Does he go this way and make an investment overseas? He could lose everything either way. Um, risk. Um, I think the challenge for the independent jeweler is figuring out how to fit their store the brick and mortar store into a much broader business enterprise um, so that their internet presence and their social media presence is, uh, is actually the core of their business and the store is simply their actual presence in a physical place. It's about integrating those things so closely that the customer almost feels as good about buying online as they do about coming into the store. Ah, but there are going to be some pluses about coming into the store that will keep them coming in. And also, by the way, keep them coming back to the website. Just like uh, clicks and bricks. Yeah, I, I mean, I think some of the, uh, my, my, talking to people, my impression is that some of the big box stores that have moved in this direction first have been doing better maybe than some others. And I know the independent is really challenged in this regard because you know, they don't have the expertise and they don't have the money to do everything with a website that they'd like to do. So again, another area of potential huge value to the industry would be, you know, at this mythical conference that I'm talking about, bringing in people who um, have worked in other industries to show them how small businesses can establish a click and brick um, connection and presence that's seamless um, and that works because while there are some differences certainly uh, with our industry in terms of the products we have and the, 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 the um, 
personal marketing uh, that, that we rely on. Um, there are also lots of things I think we can learn from what other industries do. Um, I think that's a big challenge for the independent. If they simply rely on the business that walks by each day, um, which was the, the prevailing business model of the past, you know, I think they can still survive depending on where they are and, and at what level of the market and what kind of merchandise they have. But um, the, the headwinds will only get stronger and stronger for those guys.